Hello there everybody. So I'm following an actual guide now. So before now I've not had the best quality provided and now I shall finally provide that. Every week from this video for a full year we will go over bizarre stuff that crosses my mind. Some may give you an existential crisis, others will be researching some unique questions. The random ones, I'm sure some people have, right? Or maybe just me. Welcome to Serene Theories. In this video, we will go over a thought that, like most in my list, came over to me in work. This could potentially add extra credibility to the nice scientific theory that the universe is a wave. If the universe is a wave, then black holes could be the entry point and white holes could be the exit point. Okay, so picture this. The universe is a wave. Everything we know ab is above the surface and the space in between would be the metaphorical water. And when the star dies, there are two possibilities. The first possibility is that it will go supernova, which will happen both times anyway. However, if it does not gain enough mass, it will turn into a neutrino star. Now, the second occurrence is A, it will go supernova. However, if it does gain enough mass when it goes supernova, it will in fact have a bomb into a black hole instead. Now, the most common scientific theory for black hole is that it's a dense mass. Although that doesn't logically make sense. However, we cannot explore this and know for sure until we're able to withstand the gravitational pull of a black hole. You see, the main issue here is a black hole will essentially turn you into a spaghetti. So there's no safe way to actually explore what it does due to that gravitational pull being so insanely strong. Now a white hole is the opposite, a white hole expels stuff and doesn't suck it in, however these are only theoretical right now, we have yet to actually observe this happening. Ok so we have the universe as a wave, a actually observed black hole and a theoretical white hole. Now this is where I come in throwing out my possible theory here. When a star is big enough, that explosion essentially acts as a puncher, stuff getting sucked to the part in between the wave. From there, we have two possibilities here. The reason we have yet to observe a white hole is they just don't exist. When the puncher happens, there is no other side. You get sucked to the in-between part where you will be lost because there is no way back. That's why there's no visible tunnel of a black hole. The reason it's dark enough to observe the light, absorb light is the in-between part of the universe is just dead. Nothing survives. But I'm an optimist and that sounds depressing, most depressing thing ever. So, theory 2. Same principles here. Explosion, pierce, sucky sucky pardon, pun. Think of this in, in a different concept. The explosion happens and what is essentially left is a cling film like layer. So the black hole absorbs and this cling film like layer keeps on expanding through the in-between part of the universe until it reaches the point it can get out in the other part of the universe. I guess another way to describe what I'm thinking here is think of packing sausage meat into those sausage tubes. You've got all the stuff getting packed in, like sausage, meat, um, into that like thin like layer, and it's gonna keep on going and going and going. In but if you were to do that to a sausage, what would happen? It would eventually start bursting out the other end. Because of course it's only thin. So Think of it in the same way, black holes absorbing celestial bodies and all of this sort of stuff and spaghetti firing through, like sausage meat, all the way into there, until eventually, pop. The reason we have yet to 
observe this is it's exceedingly rare think of it this way if a black hole is stationary then it's unlikely to ever gain enough mass to burst the cling film like layer due to the amount of celestial bodies it would actually need to consume in order to do so that thing and if a black hole is moving then it's just increasing the amount that it needs to consume the further it travels so it's just an endless cycle of needing more to consume and not gaining enough to consume and that could potentially be why it is so exceedingly impossible to find one is because it's so difficult for a black hole to gain that enough mass so yeah that's my theory one of many that i constantly have so let me know your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned because i plan to do a video like this every week for a year some may not be as unhinged as this and some definitely are i hope you have an amazing day and this has been me serene generation and i am out yo peace